this video, I'm going to show you how to convert wide data into long data. So we're going to start, if you're in the course, there was a long versus wide data lesson, and I'm going to show you using that specific data set. So that specific data set is known as Iris. So if you just set DF to Iris, it should run for you. And we can run this and we're going to get 150 observations of five different variables. And now what we want to do here is actually add on a column that includes an index. So what we want to do is add an index column to here. So basically we can say whenever we convert this to long data that we know that all of these properties were from the exact same uh, plant. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our DF, we're just going to give it a um, dollar sign and give it index. And then we're going to set it to We're going to set it to one and then we're going to do in row. So this is saying the number of rows in our data frame. Then we're going to pass in our data frame. So essentially we're going to get a column that goes from one to the number of rows in our data frame. And if we run this, we can now go back to DF and now we see we have index one, two, three going up until 150 that we see here. So now we can always come back and say, okay, we know where this belongs to. Now we're going to use our um, function for this video. So I'm going to do DF. We're going to just uh, set this to the vari a variable name um, DF long so that we know which one we're working with. So we're going to do DF long and we're going to go ahead and say is gather. So gather is what's going to be what converts our wide data into long data. And it needs a few things to do what it's doing. So the first thing it needs is a key and a value. These are going to be the names of your new columns. So for example, when we tell it to gather sepal length, it needs a column name for where sepal length is going to go and a column name for where all the numbers within sepal length is going to go. So a common way to do this is to call it um, property or attributes, another one, and value. These are two common, um, these are two common names. You can also just use key and value. These properties right here are just setting what your column name is going to be. The next thing you need is to set what columns you want to gather. So we want to gather the, um, sepal length to the petal width, and I'm going to leave species as duplicated data with index. So we're going to do sepal.length and then if we do a colon that's telling us we're going we want all the columns between these to petal.width and so if I run this if I run this you can see we now get DF long it has 600 observations of four variables instead of 150 observations of six variables so if we open up DF long and view it, you can see that we get index one is the species Setosa, and it has a sepal length of 5.1. And so you can scroll down and eventually you'll get to sepal width and you can see this index is increasing. So if we get down here, we can see index one we ha uh, is the same species and now we can find its sepal width. So what we could now do is easily do kind of a grouped bar chart of sepal length, sepal width, and all of these things, where before those would, it would be easiest to make them as individual bar charts because they were different columns. Um, and so you can do a few other things. You could compare sepal length versus the sepal width and stuff like that. So it's important to know how to go between these. This can also be really helpful if you're trying to um, combine things together and you want this kind of view versus having the wider view where these are all separate columns.